It's 12 and a half minutes now until 10, and our temperature is 29 degrees. First, when I first started out, it was night broadcasting after school and so forth, but the re all the rest of these years have spent early morning getting out of bed, 4.15. They say, how do you keep in shape? I say, well, I touch the tips of my shoes 50 times before I come to work every morning. Do you really? Yeah, I really do. Then I take the shoes off the dresser and put them on my feet. <laughs> Just a touch of humor there. Some call him an institution in this town. Some call him the king of morning radio. But most just call him plain Luther. And believe it or not, this man who's been told that he sounds like syndicated announcer Paul Harvey says that there was a time when he thought of doing something else. I always thought I wanted to be a, a fellow to operate the projectors in a movie, in a motion picture theater. I thought, oh, that's fascinating. I love that because I love movies as I grew up. And I always wanted, thought it'd be nice to be an op a, a, a man in a caboose at the end of a train. I mean, see all the, all the country, you know, from a caboose. I thought that would be interesting. I didn't really care about being a fireman or a, or a nurse or anything like that. But. Coming along at a time when radio was still in the developing stages, Luther has managed to hold on to some of the old ways of doing things, despite today's ever-changing technology. Luther says he's probably the only personality in the South with his own engineer to run the board and he does all of his commercials live. I point and something happens, you know. I really don't have to play the record or push the switch that brings in the, the reporters out in the field. He does that. He's a good man, too. Hey, it is now 12 minutes until 10 o'clock. Luther says that he's had offers to leave Chattanooga to make more money, but this is home and where he's always wanted to be. I wish I made what a lot of people think I make. You and me both. Yeah, they think. Well, Matt Massengill, he must make $150,000, maybe a hundred, maybe $75,000. It's nothing anywhere near there. People recognize you, and that's great, and you're able to perform a service, uh, Miss Brewer, and that's good when then people walk up and say, you found my dog last week and made the happiest little boy in the world, things like that, you know, or help a, a burned-out family. There's a lot of things you can do in this business, and there's a lot of satisfaction in it.